I'm Mikaelin. I'm Andrea. And I'm Emmett. Our dynamic system project is a simplified version of a water wheel that you see right here. With our dynamic system of a water wheel, our ultimate goal was to simplify the real world application of a water wheel, which is typically used in a river or a bo body of water where the water runs at a certain velocity and turns the wheel in producing a sustainable energy source. We thought it would be interesting to get a close up look on the basic mechanism, the essential components, and how hard it is to actually make it rotate with a simple stream of water. How does our system work? The water level has to be kept at a decent height so that the water streams out of this little straw onto the spoons in order to make them rotate. The green spoon is essential to be able to visualize the amount of revolutions in a certain amount of time. When the bottle is filled up with a certain amount of water and the cap is on and closed, the purpose of the longer straw is to create a vacuum effect that cycles the water. Our vacuum idea did not work out even though we tried to tighten it up here. So it was more efficient to let water flow from a faucet at a constant rate so have the water go through the bottle and let make this turn. We placed our system in the bathtub so there was a place for the water to just flow away. What about the dynamics behind it? For well, our water wheel, we will be using circular motion to calculate the values that we want to solve. With our givens, we have a water wheel that has a radius of about nine and a half centimeters. For this wheel, we spun it for 60 seconds and counted 74 and a half revolutions. To get angular velocity, we'd have converted the revolutions to radians and divided it by the average time to get a velocity of 7.8 uh, radians per second. All the unknowns are solved here. Calculations can be found in the report.